Hello, it's Steve again from stevegrady.org. I just thought I'd share with you a fantastic tool that Google provide completely free that I'm guessing not a lot of you know about. And if you do know about it, you don't know the value attached to it. If you go to Google, and just type in alerts, it will bring you to Google alerts. It's the first link that comes up and you'll be presented with this screen. If you've already got a Google account, you will have this sign in button here. It'll just say, you know, your, your name, whatever you sign into Google with. What Google Alerts does is you can set, if you like, up to a thousand search terms. You might only set one or two, but you're allowed up to a thousand. And these search terms, if Google finds anything on the internet that matches your your search term or your alert term, it will email you. Now, you can set the email alerts to be sent once a day, once a week, once a month, or even in real time. So... The beauty of this system is that you can use it for so many different things. So first of all, you might want to know who's linking to your website or blog, um, or even who's mentioning your website or blog. The good thing about this is people may be sharing your content, you don't even know about it. If you get an alert, obviously that someone shared your content, you can pop along, jump into the comment section, thank them, interact with their users, their readers, and so on. So to give you an example, um, I mean, obviously, as I'm making this video, obviously by the time you're watching it, I probably will be live, but as I'm making this video, uh, the blog that I'm making this for is stevegrady.org, and it isn't yet live, so we won't have a great deal of alerts that come up. If I type in stevegrady.org, if your website is www, by the way, don't put the www in. Just cut that off, okay? So you can see here, obviously, choosing a domain name. Um, here we go, looking for a refreshing approach to business tips and advice. That's my holding page at the minute because the website's not live, okay? But already you can see there's a website here called uh, I am beginners. I think it's internet marketing beginners. Steve from stevegrade.org explains in this short tutorial how to install WordPress. This is one in a series of WordPress tutorials for beginners. So that's someone, if we click that, that's someone that's already linked to a video that I put out. Yeah, say somewhere on there will be my video. Um, this one's interesting. Uh, finding the best hair extensions. Now, okay, you know, I'm not in the business of hair extensions or beauty, but one of my clients, Natasha Lee, who's a beauty blogger from the UK, she is. Now, I know that this post here went live maybe 12 hours ago. Now, already, you've got to remember as well, there's no link to me in this, but there is a mention, okay? She hasn't actually put a link in the blog, but there's a photograph of her. She was illustrating the difference between her without her extensions and her with, I think. Um, and in one of the photographs was me. So she'd actually put a credit of Steve Grady of stevegrady.org. Now, it isn't a link, but it is a citation. And Google's picked up on that. So straight away, I could pop along there to the comments and say something. Hi, Natasha. Da -da 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 -da. You know, just interact basically with her audience. And this is the beauty of, of Google Alerts. Okay. Another use for it is obviously you could put a competitor's website address in there and you could see who's linking to your competitor and obviously pop along and, and so on and so forth, see what's going on. Um, another use for it is let's say for argument's sake, um, I mean, I'm in Merseyside. So let's say you're a, a business insurance provider in Merseyside, okay? You could enter a search called new business Merseyside. And it would email you every day or every week on anything to do with new business Merseyside. So, for instance, we could look through and think, yeah, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Um, but hang on, this one's interesting. Merseyside company to double annual turnover after appearing on BBC shows. Mm, so they make handcrafted arrows. So, you know, are you a web designer? They may need a new website. Are you a graphic designer? They may want to build their brand. Do you provide... Uh, are you have you got uh, commercial premises that you rent out in in um, Merseyside? Chances are they may, may need bigger premises. So obviously you 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 would load this up, get in touch with them, follow them on Facebook, connect with them on LinkedIn, congratulate them on being on TV, explain to them that you're in Merseyside too. This is what you do. If you can be of any assistance in the future, don't hesitate to get in touch. So you can see that in front of you here is a free tool that for building your business, regardless of what you do, whether you're a gardener in Scotland, whether you're, you want a beauty salon in Hampshire, it doesn't matter. This tool, when you sit and think, what would I want to be alerted about? Then this tool is invaluable, seriously. So 
sign into Google Alerts, have a little play around with it, tweak it a little bit. If you look on my blog post that accompanies this video on stevegrady.org, you'll find some useful modifiers so you can exclude certain keywords or you can uh, add certain conditions to the alert. So I've, I hope you found this useful. Um, please let me know how you get on or let me know, let us all know if you find any interesting uh, tips. Speak to you soon over at stevegrady.org.